What's going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today's gonna be an awesome video for you guys. I'm gonna get a huge workout in and right now I am headed to the doctor to figure out if I can start walking on my boot. It'll either be now or in two weeks, which I'm super, super excited about. So stay tuned for the next few uh, 10, 15 minutes of this vlog because we've got a lot of cool stuff coming. And again, huge swim, huge lower body lift that you can follow in the description box below. And without further ado guys, let's hop into the video. Also, I got upgraded. Look at that. I'm driving in the RAV4 now, so it's a it's an upgrade from the Prius, that's for sure. So, off to the doctor up on Capitol Hill. Very excited. It's going to be fantastic. Can't wait to get the answer of whether or not I can get this done. I'm really stoked and I can't handle it. I was up at like 6 this morning and my appointment's at 8 and it only takes about 25 minutes to get there. So yeah, too excited for this. Too excited. I don't know if you guys are wondering, am I setting myself up for failure by getting so excited about the doctor's appointment today? Because it's very possible that I get there and he goes, actually, your foot's not even close to being healed yet. You have at least two or three more weeks. Um, but I am sort of in that mode right now where I am being as positive as possible with this whole thing. So all I'm saying is that it's really important for me to be super positive so that in the case that I am not told that I can go play, or not play obviously, I'm not there yet, but in the case that I'm told that I can't go walk yet on my boot, it's really important for me to keep that positive attitude and that, hey, you know what, regardless of what happens, this I'm gonna have this positive attitude and I'm gonna get after it um, regardless of whether or not I can walk on my boot or not. Because here's the thing, when I go to the gym right after my doctor's appointment, I know I'm not gonna be able to do any sort of squatting yet. So even it's a small incremental change, but hopefully, hopefully, hopefully uh, we can get in. So again, managing disappointment is something that I think is total BS and here's why. If you are super stoked about making a step forward, I think you should be excited about making a step forward. I don't think it should be a case of, oh, now I can't get excited about a certain thing because of fear of disappointment. You're gonna have disappointments in your injury process no matter what happens, or your footballing career for that matter. So it's really, really important to make sure that you are just keeping that positive attitude and one step in front of the next. Even if nothing changes in my daily routine, i.e. I can't walk today, it's still one step forward because I'm getting a scan and that'll give me a really good idea of whether or not I can have, or I've seen progress between six weeks ago and now, which is super cool. So just something to think about. Always stay positive during these things. I know it can get really rough, especially if you are injured for a long period of time with an ACL or a foot surgery or something like that, but you always got to stay on top of your mindset because that will carry you into the next step in your career. All right, the next time I talk to you guys, you'll have an answer in three, two, one. Fam, guess what? I can walk, baby, with the boot on, of course, but I can walk. Let's go one step forward every single day. Let's get it. Okay, I'm just too excited to not show you this to you guys. Holy shoot. Yes. Okay, so I can walk which means I can do some stuff without a boot around the house, but most of the time I'm gonna have to have a boot on when I'm out in public or all that stuff. But I can say goodbye to that little rolly scooter, which means more health for 
my knee. So I'm super stoked about that. And uh, yeah, guys, this is like a huge step forward and I am just absolutely stoked. I can start doing flipping, um, which is actually really ironic because I just got the pool buoy, which means that I can actually start flipping with my feet and then I can start doing calf exercises to make sure that I'm getting that strength back in my calf and my Achilles. So whew, things are good. I'll see you guys out at the pool which I said in the last video, the last road to recovery, and it's not my pool because it's the lake. So I've been doing open water lake swimming. Uh, girlfriend's gonna come with me, so she'll film a little bit. But yeah, super stoked, you guys. Let's get after it. All right, fam, out at the field. The field. <laughs> <laughs> Jump the gun. All right, out at the lake. I'm very stoked. It looks gorgeous right now. I'm going to hand the camera off to my lovely girlfriend and then I will see you guys after the swim. Today's going to be about 50 minutes again, probably about 2,500 meters, and we'll go from there. So I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. Namah, dude. What? Namadu. Namadu. God, hurry up. <laughs> they even have little numbers to show where they should go. <laughs> Inside of the elbow and then front of the knees. It's cool. But I it's love that they know their audience. <laughs> Slap myself in the foot. Nice super suit. Where's my super suit? <laughs> oh shit. Why do what? you need to know? See today? All right, baby. All right, here we go. I'll see you in like 45 minutes. Okay. What's up? Um, waiting for the data. Skip. How did it feel kicking? Good. Yeah. Really good. 50 minutes, 2,700 meters, 597 calories. Woo! That was a hard one. Yeah. Holy shit. Oh. When was the last time you swam 27? What's that? When was the last time you swam 27? 27. Okay. Never. <laughs> like hardly. I think that's. Oh well, yesterday I guess. But yeah, 2,700 meters is like the longest I swam like for a workout. Maybe on accident I got like messed up. But nice. That's a. That was a. <laughs> I'm tired. That was, <laughs> whew, felt so good to like, and here we go. First steps. I feel like a three-year-old because my ankle's so weak. Yeah. Oh. Feels so good though. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so workout, swim workout done. I'm gonna take the wetsuit off and then I will uh, show you guys the gym workout. It's gonna be a lower body, mostly pull emphasis. So deadlift and some hamstring stuff. And now that I can put weight, a little bit of weight, at least in the boot on here, I can do proper deadlifts, which is actually a huge deal. So I'll hop into the gym and then after the gym, I'll be back at the house for our first big meal today. See you guys in a bit.
right, fam. So for lunch, I've got some pasta and some avocado. I know it's sort of a weird combination, but it tastes absolutely delicious. And it's got some of the veggie, like fake meat stuff. What is it called? Beyond Beef. Beyond Beef. Um, so it's got actually some really good plant protein in it. And obviously it sticks with that pescatarian diet that I'm doing, which by the way, is absolutely incredible. I had a burger on like the month mark, just as like a tester. And I felt like absolute dog crap. So. I am not gonna be eating red meat or chicken anymore, I don't think. I think I'm gonna stick with the pescatarian, so fish and tofu, and of course, I have to be watching the game. Let's get it, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Walking down the stairs is like the best thing ever, and I know it's so small, but oh my God, I have waited so long to be able to do that and just absolutely stoked. So the next couple hours are gonna be pretty chill. So I might actually talk to you guys when I get to dinner time, simply because it is at that time of the day where I am going to sit down and get a ton of hours of work done. I just finished watching the France-Germany game, very typical France counterattack goal, and then we had German possession basically the entire time. So very, very straightforward. Um, and I'll get this light on. Ooh, look at that, excellent. Okay, so yeah, so that's kind of how the rest of the afternoon's gonna work. It is now almost 2.30, means that I have about four hours of work to do until I have dinner, and then once I have dinner, I'll probably just be chilling. Might get a little bit more work done editing the video prior to this one um, about getting the, uh, what was it? doing your resume. So make sure to go check that out if you haven't already. And it's really helpful, just straight facts about getting your resume put together, which is a really important piece of doing the pro thing and or the college thing, which some of you might be wanting to do. So that's the next little bit. I will talk to you guys in a little while. I'll probably show you some of the edits that I do, but it's gonna be pretty straightforward the rest of the afternoon, which is exciting. Really super stoked and obviously so great to be walking again. I am just absolutely thrilled to be even in a boot walking and on my feet so I can move around and not feel like I'm getting tired like moving this table so I can shoot a video for you guys. Also, by the way, I have a lot of boot reviews coming, which I'm super stoked about. So stay tuned. See you guys soon. Here's something to think about, and this is something that I have been thinking about over the last little while. I wanna continue doing a lot of playing videos, a lot of training videos, and of course, like life of the pro footballer, all that stuff. Um, but the boot reviews tend to be very, very popular among most of you guys watching. And so I'm curious to know, is that a direction you're more leaning towards? Like, would you rather me just do tons of boot reviews and get all the different colorways and all that stuff? Or are you thinking that you want a combination of a bunch of stuff. I want to obviously do what I want to do, but I also want to cater to what you guys are enjoying and what you're interested in. So let me know down in the comments below what direction you want me to go with the channel. Obviously, as I start playing in more games, I'll do tons of game analysis. And I think that side, I'm very passionate about that side as well as a lot of the mindset stuff. Um, but of course, I love doing boot reviews. I'm a total boot nerd and I am stoked about doing that stuff as well. So let me know in the comments below what you want to see. It is 9.30, I'm probably gonna head to bed pretty soon. I'm very tired, had a wonderful dinner, as you saw, some coconut rice, some veg, and a little bit of fish. I had a halibut this time, which was awesome. Um, definitely gonna be sticking to that pescatarian diet. Make sure you check the description box below for the Zoom call stuff, because I'm really stoked to be able to talk to you guys. And then we also are gonna be starting a weekly Zoom call so anybody can come in on any time. And maybe we'll try to vary different times just so that people from different time zones can jump on. But the hope is that I can get at least 10 or so of you guys on here to hang out and uh, answer all your questions and just have a chat. Talk soccer, talk tactics, all that stuff. So very excited for it. Um, and of course, guys, 
be awesome. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.